Hello everyone and welcome to the Great Ibasiac Vacuum Sell-Off. Yes, everything must go. Well, not quite everything, but I do need to get rid of a few vacuum cleaners because I'm absolutely snowed under with the machines. Obviously that pallet of 32 that I got a few months ago didn't help. I've sold a few of those from the pallet privately and uh, I'm pleased to say that I've recouped the cost of that pallet by selling the three vacuum cleaners. So I'm not going to want huge amounts of money for anything else that's in the pallet that I'm going to be selling. So the first machines up for sale are the ones behind me. I'll just show you them uh, briefly. And then if you want to make me an offer, you can contact me, you can private message me on YouTube, you can private message me on Twitter or Instagram. Um, and there's also an Ibasiac email address which you can find on my YouTube channel, but please don't use that for anything other than making me an offer on any of the cleaners that you see, because I don't really monitor that, but I will accept offers on that email address. Right, I'll take you through. Three of these machines are from the pallet. One isn't from the pallet, but I need to, to sell it. It has been reviewed, the VAX upright but I'll show you each cleaner in turn, and if you're interested, please make me an offer. UK only, I'm afraid, at the moment, because I might consider shipping to Europe. There's no point if you're in the good old US of A having any of these machines, because the shipping costs will be far too expensive for most of you, I think. Even if you get the machine cheap, you've got the shipping costs on top of that, plus the fact these are 220 to 240 volt cleaners, so they will not operate on your 120 volt system unless you use some sort of um, transformer slash adapter thing. I don't know how it works, but I know it's the cost will be prohibitive. Prohibitive? Is that the wrong word? I don't know. Well, I've got two dogs with me today. Daisy, well, I've got three actually, but I think Molly's upstairs. As soon as I get the vacuums out, she hides. Daisy is over there, just out the camera shop. I've got a big new dog, which I might show you towards the end of the video. Lolly is uh, here to stay. And she's providing me with lots and lots of hair for some demos. Right, I'll just show you these. Make me an offer. As I, as I said, I've made my money back on the pallet. I don't want a huge amount. I basically need to sell these machines to get space. This is the first batch. I will be making other videos. But always keep in touch on my Facebook page because I will put pictures up, probably on Instagram as well, of any machines I've got currently for sale. Okay, let's have a look at the machines in more detail. The first cleaner I'm offering up is the Morphe Richards Whisper Plus Vinto. I think I've got three of these, but I'll be keeping at least one. So I'm not sure if this is the actual one I've unboxed. If you want to see me unbox one, it's on my channel. But this has been tested and cleaned and polished. So it's as more or less as new as you're going to get it. We've got tools stored inside, your upholstery, your crevice and a little brush that fits onto the end of the upholstery. It's a bagged cleaner. There is a spare bag with this. You can buy bags for it and um, there will be the instruction book too. So there we go, there's the bag. There's a filter there. It's got a few little scuffs on it, nothing major. This is, I think, a manufacturer refurbished one. It, you won't be able to see on camera. I'm just having to point out there are some little scuffs here. Odd little scratches and scuffs on the machine. But all in all, it hasn't, as far as I can tell, it hasn't been used. Automatic cord rewind, of course. I'll just switch it on for you. Now, this is the cleaner head you get supplied with this, the main nozzle. There might be some slight signs of use actually on that, but very slight signs of use. That's for carpets and hard floors. You've got your metal extension wand and you've got your handle here with a little Morphe Richards branding. I'll just plug it in to show you it working. So it's called Whisper Plus, but it isn't Whisper Quiet. 
but it sounds quite smooth. It's not made in China, this one. I'm not sure if I found out where it was made, but I think it was somewhere in Europe. Whoops. Turn it on. Just says made in EC, so it's somewhere in, in the European community. So there we go, that's the first one, variable speed, bag check indicator. It's pretty standard, so make me an offer on that. The first reasonable offer, as I say, um, I won't take silly, silly offers, but um, anything reasonable, the first person to offer it and to pay gets it. So just try the auto cord rewind. It will have the original box, but as you remember from my unboxings, they are all tatty, but the original boxes will be put inside outer boxes to transport them. It's a good, good flex rewind that. You've got all the usual parking bracket at the back and a storage bracket here, and that comes out to hold the tube. Little scratch, just point out, it's a little scratch on the handle. So don't expect totally brand new, but it's near new. So that's the first one. If you want to uh, have that in your collection, make me an offer. Next one up is the Rowenta Tonixio. Tonixo. Here it is. Nice little vacuum this with the Delta head. Um, you've got your, obviously, your telescopic tube. You've got your handle. This one's got a built-in dusting brush that you can pull out for dusting your blinds and curtains and whatever. You've got Eco and Max. It's variable speed. Bag check indicator there. Auto cord rewind. You've got an exhaust filter. Of course, it's a bagged machine. There you go. Sorry about that little blip. I just had the UPS man actually collecting a vacuum cleaner rather than delivering it. Yes, there's one that's going to a new owner and I'm sure he'll be very happy with that when he receives it. So, right, it's a bag machine. You can still buy bags for this and I think you can buy fleece bags which may be better than the original paper ones. Again, it's I think it's more or less unused it's probably a refurbished model it looks very clean inside there are a few scuffs it's hard to show on camera look on the wheel there whoops there's a little bit of sort of plastic stress sign whatever but anyway it is pretty good condition I'm not going to say it's perfect I don't want anyone disappointed but it's pretty good Look, I'll give you the ballpark figure. I'm ex I would like to get around 25 to 30 pounds for this and the Morphe Richards Vinto. I don't really want any more. 30 pounds plus postage. So you're talking up to 40 pound delivered for this and the Vinto. But it, depending who you are, if I like the look of your face and you offer me less, I might just let you have it because you know, it's not about really making a profit. I've already made my money back on the pallet. So, you know, I'm not fast. I think the Vinto, personally, I'd want a little bit more for the Vinto than the Roenta, but so it's up to you. Make me an offer, but I think, whoops, Daisy. I would say from 20 pound onwards, make me an offer from that. And of course, the postage will be it's around £10, the company I use, which is the next, more or less next day delivery and attract service. I've used them before and I like to use them. So it's up to you. If you don't want them, don't make me an offer. Next one up is an Ariane. I have several of these, but they're all in varying states of uh, condition, various conditions. This one is one of the better ones. Again, there's scuffing, it's hard to show you on pictures, but there is slight scuffing to parts of this machine. I didn't show you the Tonixo going, did I? I'll show you that in a minute, but they all do work. I've tested every one. I've left them running. I've not just I haven't used them, but I've left them running for more than a minute. You know, I've left them running for up to 10 minutes just and vary the speed and everything just to make sure 
that they're fine. So this is a Hoover Lifetime, Ariane Lifetime. The Lifetime bag isn't supplied with this one. It does come with a paper bag. Um, fixed speed. So I'll show you that. This has got uh, all the tools it should have, which isn't many. It basically had that. Now, this one, as I say, is one of the better ones condition-wise for the machine. But I'll just point out that this dusting tool, where is it? Oh, cool. Get it right. Oh, it's up. I'm upside down on my viewfinder. That's why I can't tell. There's a little nick out of there. This is some... It's going bald. I know the feeling. So does Rusty, Mr. Rusty Skull. He'll be as bald as a coot in a couple of years. Night. But he, he thinks it's great. I don't. Uh, there, like, well, anyway, can you, you can just about see. And under there is the little... Uh, what you call it, that actually goes onto your pipe and forms, you know, your storage do brick. So, that's the Ariane. I'll, I'll go back to the old Tenixo because I haven't shown you the tools or switched it on. Like I say, all the boxes are tatty. I'll be packing them in other boxes for you. Ah, now is that one that's... Right, this one I'll just point out. Yeah, it is. The cord rewind on this tends to want to go back a bit. Right, so bear that in mind. I didn't realise that at the time. I will have some more of these. But obviously, because of that, you can offer me less. Yeah, so that might need looking at. So, I don't know if it's going to fully rewind. Plug it in. You can hear snoring in the background. I don't know if you can pick it up. That's uh, Lolly, bless her. That's a bit loose as well. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's in the bag, not. So, you know, bear that in mind. Um, yeah, just say 20, maybe 20 pounds or 15. I'll have, I'll take 15 pounds for this plus delivery. So 25 pound for that one, it's got some issues. So it's quite noisy, but you know, it's clean. I did sell, I have sold the best example Ariane that I had, which had you know, it was basically as new. It didn't have issues like this one, so yeah, the flexi wind is is a bit dodgy on that one. Look, I'll take I'll take I'm going I'm lowering my prices. I just really need the space. I'll take a tenner for this, okay? If you want this one with with the issues I pointed out, twenty pound delivered if you live UK mainland, okay? If you want this in another country, I'm going to have to give you a quote. First come, first serve, £20, and if you live in the UK, mainland, you can have that. It'll have a spare bag and the instruction book. But I think, I'm thinking about 25 for the Vinto and around 20 for the Roenta. The Vinto is probably in the best condition out of these three. The second best is this Roenta. So offers around 20, 20 and over. Whoever offers first, and you, you'll get it, basically. So don't hang about, folks. £20 plus delivery, offers around that or over, and the Vinto 25 plus delivery, or offers over. As I say, it's first come, first served. Um, the sooner you can get Contact me, the sooner you get them, the sooner I can start clearing some space and then more vacuums will be added to the sale because uh, I can't get to them all at the moment. You know, it's a nice little cleaner that. Uh, again, it'll be made not in China. That's actually French. French made. Enter Tinixo, and that comes. I didn't show you. 
comes with that that you can wall hang but that does you can put the tools on that but this is all you get with it you get a uh, small crevice tool this rather interesting dusting brush which would be ideal if you've got blinds and this again very interesting looking sponge tool for sort of upholstery and curtains so that's the Tonixo uh, 20 pounds or near offer the Vinto 25 or near offer the Ariane, what did I say for that? 10, 10 pounds. You can have the Ariane, 10 pounds plus, of course, postage. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to be around for you to come to my house. They will all have to be posted, I'm afraid, unless I know you, which is not, practically most of you I don't know. So there's that to Nixo. There may be another one. I've, I have promised um, a colleague um, a cylinder vacuum, she wants one for her stairs. She's got quite a heavy Dyson. I think it's a DC27 she's got and she just wants something for a stairs and car. So there are the three cylinders so far. There may be others coming up. There certainly will be more Ariannes. But for the, the one I've shown you, um, I'm asking £10. This one, it, it does need a bit of a clean up. This has featured quite a while ago on my channel and basically I've used it for that demo and basically it's been in its box ever since. It's got a little bit of dirt in it, but I will make sure that that's cleaned and polished. So this is a Vax Total Home U88AMTE. It's got all the bits. You've got your, let me just move you up for you. Oh, da, da, da. You've got your extension thing, a little bit floppy, as you can see. It does stay up, but it might need a bit of help. It's a good machine though. Um, it's got the problem as the earlier Vax Airs. Some people find them hard to push. Obviously the later models have got the slide control. So I'm, I'm supplying this with that little adapter. I made a separate video on that. So that will be included to make it easier to push. And you've got your small tool. If you want to see the full demo of this, this is the actual machine in that demo. You've got your duff dusting tool on your crevice tool thing. Twin motored, obviously, you can turn the brush roll off. Oh, you've got another tool on the back. It's an upholstery tool, I won't get it all off because I have to undo the flex. It's got quite a long cord on this, I think. You've also got some additional tools, being the total home. You've got this very long crevice tool, getting right down there into your nooks and crannies. Oh, you could play snooker with that. Ooh, or pool, if I was in the USA, I don't know. We did have a small snooker table when I was growing up. I was never any good at it. Um, you've got this sort of pet hair thing. There's this, I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm sure it belongs to it, some sort of adapter piece. Um, and then you've got the turbo brush. Adjustable handle. Oh, well, I will show you it going, because I'm going to clean it up anyway. I'm not going to actually put any dirt down, but just show it works. But basically this has had about as much use as you saw in the demo video. Maybe a little bit more, I've probably used it a couple of times, so... It's not been switched on for more than an hour in total, I would say. You might just be able to see Lolly there, lolling about. She hasn't woken up with all the other vacuums I've turned on. I wonder if she'll wake up when I turn this vax on, but I've got to show you. you know it's pretty quiet anyway if you want that I have no idea I mean I didn't get these this this I paid full price for but vaxes don't obviously go for a lot of money um, it will be cleaned up it'll look more or less brand new you could have this if you want it as a vacuum um, to use basically it's an air 3 total home not a bad machine um, so give me an offer on that as I say, I don't know. It's not from the pallet. I want some money for it, but uh, I don't want. I'm not expecting a huge amount for that. So if you if you're interested in that, make me an offer. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please make me an offer if you want any of these vacuum cleaners. Now the date is Wednesday, the seventh of June, 2017. So if you're watching this in 2030, I may not be here. The vacuum cleaners certainly won't be. So if you want one, you need to contact me pretty sharpish. If you 
contact me and we do a deal and you pay for it today, then I'll be able to get them shipped out tomorrow and you should get them on Friday. So the sooner the better really because I'm on holiday next week, I won't be here, so I'd like to get some of these vacuums cleared before I go on holiday. So pay for it today. I know it's not much notice, but then they will certainly get shipped out tomorrow and you, as I said, should get them Friday, Monday at the latest. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. See you on Friday with hopefully a new demo video, but there should be an unboxing later today on my channel. Bye for now.